My goodness, woman, that was some dinner. Yes, ma'am. Been a long time since I had a roast like that. Well, I kind of figured the Navy wasn't feeding you all right. So me and my little sister's been saving and stealing ration stamps. That's right. Didn't eat any meat for two months just to get it. Y'all didn't have to go through no strain. Boy, hush up. My man's coming home. That's worth every strain. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Vernon. Man, all I can say is that a man that marries any woman that can make sweet potato pie like this <laughs> has a whole lot to be thankful for. <clears throat> Mr. Cooper, Vernon tells me that the work that you all are doing at Port Chicago helped with the victory in the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Well, yes, ma'am. Because we had a car full of 200 pounders a couple of weeks ago. And those are the bombs that the Hellcats use, and the Hellcats are the carrier based fighters. Oh, Vernon tells me you want to be a pilot? Oh, yes, ma'am, I did. You did? But not anymore? Don't seem like there's much chance. Well, now my Vernon wants to be the first colored congressman of the state of California. Do you think there's much chance of that, Mr. Mm. Cooper? Come on, Edwina, not now. Well, I'm just asking <laughs> Mr. Cooper's opinion. I just want to know if he thinks breaking your back, loading bombs, is good training for the U.S. Congress. Well, ma'am, somebody's got to do it. I mean, all those ships and planes and men. They'd be helpless without us. Now, I'd rather be up in the air dropping the bombs and down here loading them. Now, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't. But somebody's got to do it. Well, I know somebody's got to do it. Why does it have to be Vernon? Hmm? I miss you so much. <laughs> mm. Come on now, honey. We got company. Yeah. <laughs> I know we got company. You ain't got much time. <laughs> mm. The couch too lumpy. <clears throat> no, no. <clears throat> it's fine. Beats a bunk. Ain't you scared? For what? Of everything that you're doing with the bombs and the bullets. I'd be terrified. Well, sometimes, I guess. Is that why you can't sleep? You can fly, you know, if you want to. I imagine. DJ, man, how you doing? Come on, I want you to meet somebody. You know Vernon. This is Edwina Nettles, Vernon's wife. Hi. This is Dinah. Dinah, this is BJ, the friend I was telling you about. It's nice to meet you, BJ. I don't know what Big Ben's been telling you, but whatever it was, it's not the whole truth. Except the part about me being the best dancer in the division.
Excuse me, I got something to take care of. She's a fine looking woman. Thanks a lot. Too bad she ain't my type. You in trouble, boy. You think so? Hey, look. When it comes to who's hot and who's not, BJ Teach is never wrong. Now, if I was you, I'd get my country butt over there and ask that pretty woman to dance. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that, BJ. Well, if you don't, someone else will. BJ, I can't dance. Then get her to teach you. I ain't that light on my feet. You want the woman or not? Well, yeah. I'm telling you she wants you, too. Now, go get her. Go ahead, Ben. Thanks, BJ. I had a good time. Me too. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me on the dancing. Oh, you'll get it. But we will have to practice. I'd like that. Next Liberty? Saturday? You got a date? I do. <laughs> you and me. Us. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. Chicago are refusing to go to work. What division? Uh, ninth, I think. That's Ben and Vernon, ain't it? Baby, I can't believe I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> I got somebody I want you to meet. This is Bernard John Nettles. <laughs> Call him BJ. But that's a good name, Senator. A real good name. 